ever wondered what's at the bottom of the canal? Well, they've been dredging in Newton Heath, and now they are displaying the results. That's right. Local residents have collaborated with professional artists to create an art exhibition out of the recovered rubbish. It opened today in Manchester, and Eno has been round for a look. From toddlers' shoes, tyres and trolleys, to swans, snails and snakes. Unlocked items and rubbish recovered from the Rochdale Canal has now been transformed into remarkable pieces of artwork by disgruntled residents and artists. I live on the um, Rochdale Canal, so this project was quite dear to my heart, really. From seeing what, what waste does get thrown in the water, yeah. And seeing the boats come through and saying that they, they couldn't get through down because there was so much rubbish. They have to call out canal rescue and things like that. The Canal and River Trust has spent over £750,000 in the last year on dredging in the region. And the Art Dredge Project is part of a clean-up collaboration between them, local residents in Newton Heath and art groups in Manchester to raise awareness of the damage that fly tipping into waterways does to the environment. We found mopeds, a couple of mopeds, one looked pretty new, to be honest. I think someone would have been a bit sore to have lost that moped. Uh, about seven or eight bikes, um, various, I think about 12 shopping trolleys, flat screen TVs, a fridge, some rather dubious sort of kitchen knives and things that look like they could have been used to hit someone over the head with. It may be a load of rubbish for some people, but after being given a deep clean, three chosen artists have worked their magic on the rubbish. Upcycling, some of the most fascinating objects of desire for the first ever art dredge exhibition at Piccadilly Place. Eno Aero to BBC Northwest tonight in Manchester. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Very cool.